new coach, Mike McCarthy, will be able to recreate the championship success he had in Green Bay. Recent Super Bowl champ Andy Reid believes McCarthy is capable of that. Reid said that the year off between the Packers job and the Cowboys job will help McCarthy, and you can expect an even better version of him in Dallas. So, Shannon, will McCarthy be better in Dallas than he was in Green Bay? I don't think so. And then Andy Reid saying this, coaches always speak very glowingly and high. Even coaches that can't coach or aren't very good. Oh, he's great. For me, for Mike McCarthy, Skip, the guy had 13 years. He had two generational quarterbacks. And he went to and won one Super Bowl. Is that a mark of a good coach? Mm -hmm. Really? Now, George Seifert. George Seifert had two generational quarterbacks. He won two Super Bowls and lost the championship game on a fumble by Roger Craig in 1990. Skip, you remember the game? I do. But when George Seifert went to the uh, uh, Carolina Panthers, how'd that work out for him, Skip? I think he was 79, 8-8, eight and, eight, and 1-15, and, and that ended it. And George Seifert never coached again in the NFL. Okay. So how good a coach is Mike McCarthy? Now, this is what we do know. He's going to a situation where he, the quarterback he currently has is incomparable to those two he just left. The one you keep saying what, what, deserves 40 what, million yeah, bucks? I'm talking. It's my turn. Different day. <laughs> new day, <laughs> new topic. New day. Yep. I'm saying is that Mike McCarthy had Brett Favre and then he transitioned right into Aaron Rodgers. Very few quarterbacks have been able to do that, Skip. I don't know if there's ever been a coach, because you remember, Skip, after he won in 88, Bill yeah. Walsh retired after they beat the Bengals. Mm -hmm. George Seifert took over in 89. They beat the Broncos, lost the championship game. And then in 94, they beat uh, uh, San Diego in the Super Bowl. But we've never seen this, where I'm talking about boom, boom, and that's the same coach. He had Brett Favre, three-time Super Bowl, a uh, three-time MVP, Super Bowl winner, Okay. And he had two-time MVP, Aaron Rodgers. And he got two and won one Super Bowl? How good a coach is he, Skip? My okay. Turn? No, it's not your turn. So he's going to a situation. He's going to a situation. I keep getting asked questions, <laughs> and I can't You're speak. opening the door, <laughs> Shannon. Yeah. He's going to a situation where the quarterback is not Aaron Rodgers. He's not Brett Favre. So we'll get an opportunity to see how good Mike McCarthy is. But I will say this. The hedge has been removed because every time they lost a the game, it was because of Jason Garrett. The defense played horrible. Well, Jason Garrett didn't get them motivated. The offense didn't play well. Okay. Well, it was Jason Garrett uh, overruled Kellen Moore and what Kellen Moore wanted to do. Okay. That hedge has been removed. So we're going to see just how talented this team is mm -hmm. and just how good this team is mm -hmm. with Mike McCarthy because there's no more excuses that can be placed on the head coach. I will buy only that. <laughs> no more excuses. Mike McCarthy is now the head coach of my Dallas Cowboys. True. And I am here to teach you how he is going to be even better than he was at his best in Green Bay. I'm going to remind you that Mike McCarthy did take last year off, and he didn't move to Florida like most of them do and play golf or California uh -huh. or Arizona. He actually teamed up with Pro Football Focus to go second and third level analytical study. He actually brought in three ex-head coaches to sit with sure. him on a daily basis and break down tape of what works in today's National Football League that I can take into my next job. Not get massages on okay. Saturday before walking. He did through. do that. I agree with you, and before I think that. he got a little complacent, a little <laughs> full of himself, and he... He did win the one Super Bowl, Correct. and I think you can argue it went to his head. Uh, you, you can argue a lot of different mm -hmm. things. But the point is this. I believe what happened the last two years, falling completely apart with Aaron Rodgers, mm -hmm. humbled him to the mm -hmm. point he said, I need to refigure out how to do this. His coaching lineage is highly impressive from all the West Coast coaches. Yeah, oh, yeah. Coach from going back to the Walsh 49ers. Mm -hmm. So he has... He has a legacy behind him of, of deep knowledge. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, he's brought this to Dallas. Okay, now, here's my counter to your point about George Seifert. Okay. Help me out here. You won your first Super Bowl with, who was your coach? Mike Shanahan. Thank you. And it was Mike Shanahan on his second NFL stint? Absolutely. He was. Yep. He had been the Raiders coach under Al Davis and had fallen completely apart mm -hmm. with Al Davis and wound up in Denver and magic happened, yep. right? Yes. If John had stayed another year, I don't know, maybe you'd won three. Who knows? Right. Right? Okay. Right. So now let's go to the second. I'm going up the list, okay? Yep. 
Uh, Dick Vermeil had coached the Eagles. He did get to a Super Bowl, but he didn't win one. Then he, then he took a while off. And then he came back in his second NFL stint, having learned what he learned in Philly. And what happened with the St. Louis Rams? He won, he won the Super Bowl. Oh, interesting. Bill Belichick started out with the Cleveland Browns. They were just mediocre. Mm -hmm. They made one playoff. Yeah. Uh, get, they had one playoff game, in, or two, I guess it was. Made the playoffs once in five years. They okay. did beat Parcells. Yep, in they New did. Week. Okay, and then what happened in New England, you know the rest of right. the story, right? right? Second NFL stint. Right. Okay, I'm going to keep going up the ladder here to the fourth one. John Gruden, mm -hmm. I covered in Oakland, fell completely apart with Al Davis, got traded to the Bucks, and what happened the next year? Second NFL stint, he won the Super, Super Bowl, Bowl, right? Let's keep going up the list, shall we? Let's go to the great Tony Dungy. He was pretty good in Indy, but no. No, you mean he was I, pretty I mean, good in Tampa. I mean, I mean Tampa. I'm sorry, I got it backwards. Pretty good in Tampa. He was. And he left the cupboard full for John Gruden. Yeah. But then second NFL stint, what happened? Peyton. He and Peyton went and won right. the Super Bowl together. Let's keep going up the list. Tom Coughlin, he was pretty good in Jacksonville. He, he gave you the worst loss of your career. He did. In a first-round playoff game at home in Denver. You Correct. still haven't gotten over that nope. game, right? Nope. But he didn't break through until he got his second NFL job with the New York football right. Giants, right? Right. Pete Carroll, he had a, a first go-round, obviously, yeah, two with, go but, but he had New England Jets back-to-back, -back right. and they were short-lived, right? Then he goes away and coaches USC, and we know right. that was great. And then he comes back for his second go-round in the NFL, and what happened? Super Bowls right. happened, right? Yep. Okay, where does that leave us? Gary Kubiak, you know Gary very yep. well because yep. he was your backup quarterback. Yep. And he started out and wasn't very good in Houston. My and, OC also. Okay, he was your OC. Uh -huh. And he got fired, and then his second NFL stint was with the Broncos. Right. 2015, it happened. Am I right? I'm, I'm going now. Well, okay. I'm, I'm showing you second stints. Okay. 16 of the last 23 Super Bowl winning coaches. Think about this. 16 of 23 were all on their second go-round in the NFL when they won their Super Bowl. I can, and I can point to you, all the guys you mentioned either had Hall of Fame-worthy QBs or transcendent defenses. Tampa. Sure. Okay, I'll give you that, but it, that, you you need that. So, I mean, so, 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 well, so, I mean, so you can't what, just snap your fingers. So let me ask you a question. You know, overachieving teams don't go win the Super let me ask Bowl. You a question. It's just too hard. Let me ask you a question. So what do the Cowboys have? Do they have a Hall of Fame-worthy quarterback or a transcendent defense? They have a transcendent offense. No, 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 no. Yes, they do. Well, it was last year. They they put up historic numbers. But you got to have a historic quarterback. You look at you look at what Coach Dungy got when he got the Indy. Mm -hmm. You look at what Coop. Coob, even though Peyton wasn't Peyton, he had a defense. You look at all the guys, Coach Belichick. You look at Pete Carroll. Quarterback, quarterback, defense, defense. Now, if you're going to tell me Dak Prescott's going to turn out to be one of these Hall of Fame-worthy quarterbacks, mm -hmm. or the defense is going to be the uh, Bucks, or the defense is going to be the Broncos of 2016, okay, well, you, you got me? Hmm. How did Kansas City just win the Super Bowl? Was it really with defense? I think it was mostly with mm. offense. Well, right? the defense was substantially better than upgraded. Okay. But on my homeboy. Was, was it all time great? So nope. hold on. Are you saying Dak is my homeboy? Now, if you tell me that, Skip, I'm done. I'm out of here. You, you keep telling me day after day after day that Dak Prescott is so good that he deserves $40 million, that he deserves by far the most money in pro football. No, Skip, uh, what I say is that he deserves market value. And you Mar market value for a mediocre quarterback? No, 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 no. It might be for a mediocre, but mar market value for a free agent quarterback is something entirely different. Okay, what did you tell me yesterday? Dak has won two division two titles. Two divisions. Rookie and, and, of the year. And made two Pro Bowls. Yeah, like, two. Three, two. Two. Two Pro Bowls. Okay, who's to say he's not on a Hall of Fame arc that will start right now with the guy who coached Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers? Say that again. He on the what? Hall of Fame. That's worth forty-two million. Yeah. I'm glad you told me because you say you were doing this on projections. So projection uh, says Hall of Fame, Jenny. Okay. Woo! I'm glad you said that. You heard him. Was I the only one who picked the Dallas Cowboys to get to the Super Bowl <laughs> no. last no, year? I not. was not the only Where's one. The so there were some experts, far smarter than I am, who said, "Hey, this team's loaded, especially on the offensive side." But guess side who of the, the guy, the smartest expert was that say the Cowboys was gonna go eight and eight and not win the division. Oh.
Well, hate will inspire <laughs> you to do a lot of things, is, right? But you're right. Yeah. Driven yeah. Oh, so now, driven so now I'm hating her. Okay, <laughs> so I agree with you. The the annual NFL Combine is is an off season convention where everybody feels good and speaks good. You know, they all. So Andy Reid. Sure. A, again, they I probably had cocktail than elbows. I, I didn't yeah, even finish not? off the list because the key to my list, the ninth guy on the list, Ooh. was just it just happened, and he was speaking my, of Mike McCarthy because oh, Andy, Andy Reid. He tried and he tried and he tried and he just kept running right into that closed door yeah. in Philadelphia, didn't right. he? Mm -hmm. And he was too much of a player's coach and too much this and too much that. <laughs> and you can argue he got the Mahomes boy because he was the one who traded up to go Trade. snatch it. Go get it. Okay? But it was his second time around after he had learned all he had learned mm -hmm. that didn't work in Philadelphia that did work in Kansas right. City, right? Right. So is, is Mike McCarthy... Is he a good football coach? Sure, he's a yeah. good football coach. So Mike McCarthy is 10 and 8 in the postseason. And he didn't just coach the Bengals in the postseason or Jacksonville in the postseason. He coached a team that is nationally known with a national or maybe international fan 